We will now outline the components of our ViscoLab PVT system. Patented Cambridge SBL 440 sensor fitted with thermal jacket for heating and cooling. Visco Pro 2000 processor. The pressure transducer to measure pressure. Pressure display output reading. Sample inlet valve. Exhaust valve. Fine adjust valve. Recirculating bath for temperature control. User interface data acquisition system. Standard ViscoLab PVT can reach up to 190 degrees Celsius with pressure reaching 20,000 PSI. There are additional options to reach 315 degrees Celsius and 40,000 PSI. The recirculating bath adapts to the PVT through thermally insulated hoses. The hoses are fitted with a quick disconnect for easy installation. Before replacing the piston, it is standard practice to clean the system in place by charging it with the appropriate solvent and drying, and then evacuate the system as if preparing to run another sample. We will now replace the piston in the ViscoLab PVT's 440 sensor. You will need the following tools. Magnet wand. The wrenches supplied in the accessories kit. Compressed air. A box of lint-free Kim wipes. Foam tip swabs. Solvent. Before beginning this procedure, make sure that all samples are cleaned with the appropriate solvents and dried with air or nitrogen. First, make sure system has been depressurized by turning the exhaust valve. Also, make sure temperature is at a safe handling level. Next, we need to disconnect the sample inlet tube from the PVT system by unscrewing the nut with the supplied wrenches turning counterclockwise. Open the sample inlet valve and loosen the two thumb screws that secure the valve. Next, you need to remove the piston. Remove low torque nut by using the supplied wrench turning counterclockwise. Next, remove the upper reducer. Now pull away the low torque nut and place the nut to the side as we will use it in chapter three. Using magnetic wand, remove the piston by inserting the wand into the sensor's chamber. Place piston in Kim wipe and dry. Use solvent to clean the piston. Dry piston with Kim wipe. You have now completed the process of removing the piston. We will now begin cleaning the sensor. First, spray the inside of the sensor with solvent. Next, using a foam tip swab, swab the inside of the chamber. Then, using compressed air, blow the sensor cavity dry. The sensor is now clean. Insert dry piston back into the clean sensor with the flat side of the piston facing up. You have now completed the process of cleaning the sensor. If more extensive cleaning is required, the sensor can be completely removed by loosening the joint below the sensor and pulling back the quick disconnects connecting to the jacket. We will now show you how to connect the sensor. After the sensor has been cleaned, We'll need to clean the low torque exhaust tube. Pick up the low torque nut and clean it with solvent, then dry it with the lint free Kim wipe. Install the low torque exhaust tube back into the hole at the top of the sensor. Place low torque exhaust nut into hole and tighten the nut to the sensor at 65 foot pounds. You have now installed the low torque exhaust. Now we will connect the sensor. First, you will need to slide the lower valve up. Next, connect the low torque exhaust nut to the upper reducer by turning clockwise and tightening using the supplied wrenches. After tightening the two thumb screws, connect the sample inlet tube to the lower valve and tighten using the supplied wrenches. 
The sensor is now installed and the system is reassembled. Thank you.